This video is to show one of the final steps in Lab 8 for my GIS 311 students. It's a select by location, but it's one that uses a little bit different skills than you used in previous labs, which is why I'm creating this video. I have already have my steep slopes selected in my slope tack poly. Notice that's the one that's showing right here. In addition, I have my Tacoma land use showing, I'll turn off steep slope tack poly. I also have all the residential parcels selected in my Tacoma land use. What the goal is now is to select all of the residential parcels out of this group. I want to select all of them that intersect with the steep slope areas. To do that, we need to do a select by location. I'm going to select features from Tacoma Land Use. The source layer is my slope tack poly. And I want to select of those features in this source layer, I have to say target layers which you'll have to find in here intersect the source layer feature and use selected features is checked and then also select features from instead of selecting all of them I want to select to select from the currently selected features in since these are all residential I want only those only those residential parcels selected that intersect the slope tack poly selected features because in slope tack poly I have just the steep slopes selected. I say apply and then I close and I look at my slope tack poly. It's still threes, which is good. I look at my Tacoma land use, open the attribute table. And there are 271 parcels selected, and they're all residential. If I were to scroll through all of them, it's just residential. I could go to just the selected features and notice that there's some multifamily, there's some single family, and there may be some multifamily, or excuse me, some mobile homes. But that's how you do the last portion of the lab. And then, of course, I have to export these features, these selected features, and name it appropriately when I save it. In this case, it is user ID steep slope res tack dot shape. I save it in my data at lab 8. I say OK. Yes, I want to add it to my map. It is this file and all portions of it. Let me zoom into that lab 8 data steep slope tack. Notice this is a lock file. I won't be able to access this until I close my map. But these are the files from here to here not with this one notwithstanding that you will zip up first put into a folder and then when you zip it up it will be included you don't have to zip this one up entirely just put these in a folder on their own copy them in and I'll be looking at that folder in that file and that's how you select the residential parcels that are on the steep slopes of Tacoma